Hey there, I am here to help share a savvy, creative trick for using stock photos to help grow your business. And today, I actually want to get you using your prime real estate on your Facebook page to actually get people to click back to your website or your sales page or your freebie opt-in or wherever you want them to go. So you might not have seen this um, trick being used before, and it is such an awesome way to get new visitors to your site to actually go take action and work with you and your business. So here we are on the Wellness Stock Shop Facebook page and you can see the Facebook cover up here and you see that I have an offer to get one free photo per month if you click here. So you're probably wondering, how did I get a button on there? You didn't know that they actually, you can put buttons on your Facebook cover. And I'm going to go through this and teach you step-by-step step how I did this. So this is actually a savvy trick. Facebook does not allow you to put any buttons on your Facebook cover. In fact, they really don't like it when you click off of Facebook onto a different website. So we have to get a little bit savvy here. So I'm going to show you what happens if I actually click there. So I clicked on the button and it pulls up the image. Well, it should pull up the image, it's not right now. Um, and it pulls up this little blurb on the side. So this is actually where you are going to plug in your URL to get people to take action. So you're gonna use a call to action on your Facebook cover they're going to click on that button and then it's going to pull this up more information to tell them more information about what your opt-in is about or if you're using maybe a challenge or whatnot, what it's about and plug in the uh, URL for an active link for them to actually click to the page that you want to send them. So right here, a little trick that you see is that I put my URL where I want them to click to right at the top so they can click it right away. Then I actually fill in some extra information and you can fill in a lot more than this. Mine didn't really require that much. And then I put another active link at the very bottom so that it's just easy for them to access and it gives them more options to click on it. So if you were to click on this, you'd go back to wellnessstockshop.com and then they would see another button at the top of Wellness Stock Shop, which is my free opt-in to get people on the list to receive a free monthly photo. So that's how this works. So now let's talk about how to design this lovely Facebook cover. So I actually use Canva. So we're gonna jump over to Canva. This is my Canva account. I have a paid account because it's so much easier. I can actually save all of my branding colors and my branding fonts and my logo for easy access, but you can also sign up for a free account. Either one works great. So if you don't have a free account at Canva, just go to canva.com, sign up for a free account, and then you can follow along here. So these are all of my designs that I'm working on right now. If you have purchased one of my branding kits, you might already have a Facebook cover that I have already created, just like these little ones right here. So you can actually load that into your Canva account and just plug in the font and the, the um, design that we're gonna go over today. Um, but if not, you can start from scratch. So you can actually grab one of their templates. So if we click on this more button, it's gonna show all of their pre-designed templates. We're gonna go down to social media and email headers and you'll see there's Facebook cover right here. So we're just gonna click on that to start a new design. So we're starting from scratch. Um, so now you're, you're gonna want to actually load in your chosen photo. So you wanna choose a photo that's gonna look beautiful, obviously that fits your brand, and that has space in the center to put text. So one thing about this um, design is that we always, on the Facebook cover, want to put text in the center. Why? Because when people are on their mobile device, uh, Facebook actually crops off the sides of the cover. So you want to make sure that they can still see the text and the button, and you're pretty, so you're going to want to put it right in the center of your cover. So to choose a photo, I'm going to take you over to Wellness Stock Shop. 
So I have um, an actual membership here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here and then we're going to go over to the gallery. So there are over 4,000 beautiful images that are wellness related that you can choose from inside Wellness Stock Shop. Um, so you can easily create multiple gorgeous Facebook covers. And one place that I like to go for really a quick photo that works great for backgrounds is this Quick Backgrounds Gallery. So I'm going to click on that. So Quick Backgrounds, I put together all these different photos that have extra white space. So it's just easy to overlay your text or your design. So we're just going to go down here and choose one of these. So let's go ahead and choose these lemons. So I just click this little down arrow and I highly recommend that you grab the medium sized image. I have a membership so it's just going to download with my membership. I have unlimited access. So if you have a membership, make sure that you grab the medium sized photo for your Facebook cover design. So now I'm going to go back over to Canva and I'm going to load in my photo. Oh, it's been having a little glitch lately. So let me go ahead and do that again. Choose that. So now I've got my photo for my background. So let's say that you are a health coach and you want to call, give people a call to action um, to join your five-day cleanse. It's a free five-day cleanse. So you can see I've got my designs off to the side. I've got plenty of space for text or whatnot. And oftentimes it's really great to put, put kind of a solid color um, to just kind of highlight your text area and draw attention to what you're writing or what you're saying. Um, so I'll actually put one of these backgrounds here. I got it from Elements Shapes and I grabbed the square design. You can easily grab a circle or a different design if you'd like. And then I'm just gonna kind of change the, the transparency, the opacity. I'm gonna lower that a little bit so you can still kind of see the background, uh, but it's still gonna highlight my text. So now you can go ahead and choose your fonts. And I highly recommend using your branding fonts. Quattro Centro is already plugged in as my branding font, so that's what I'm gonna use here as the example. Um, so I'm gonna say, join our free five day, how about detox challenge. Let's move this all up here. And let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because it seems pretty big to me. So how about, and then I'm also going to change the spacing. Sometimes the line height is a little bit much. And actually I'm going to take this out and I'm going to use a different font for that. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to bring in another font. Maybe this one. There we go. Free. I guess I don't like that one so much. So I'm going to use my normal branding font here, which is Sacramento. So this going to go over here and maybe we'll change the color of this. So you can get crafty with your designs and make it beautiful however you want to. This is just a little suggestion just to kind of show you how it works. Just go like this. Now I'm going to bring this down here. Okay, so we've got all of this. Actually, let's go like this and bring it over here. I, think I like that better. Okay, so this is just a sample again, and now we're gonna actually plug in a button. So how do you create the button? I'm gonna go to Elements over here, and I'm gonna grab this square shape again, and I'm just gonna create what looks like a button. So here we go. 
And now we are going to add some text to it, a call to action. And make this a little bit smaller, maybe all caps, and maybe add a little letter spacing and turn it white. Click here. So there we go. Join our free, maybe I don't want it over there. I don't know, however you want it. Um, we can make sure that this is centered on the square by dragging these in just like that. And click here. So it's also really awesome if you want to um, add a little arrow to really like make it super irresistible to click there. So we're gonna go to elements again and lines. And if you scroll down, you can see there's all these different arrows here. So you can just grab one of these and put it over here like this and change the color of it if you want to. We'll use the yellow color again. And that's really all you have to do. Um, like I said, you can have fun, you know, making this perfect. I'm not making it perfect because the whole idea is to just show you how to design it right now. But this is really the best, easiest thing you could possibly do. So just make it pretty simple. Make sure that there's a call to action. Tell them what you are giving them and make it super irresistible. Then you can just download it, of course, and then load it into your Facebook page. So let's go back to Facebook. So I already have mine in here. I've already loaded it. It's got the arrow. It's got the click here, call to action. And then again, if you click on the button, it's going to bring this up. So you can edit this text. You just press the edit here, add whatever you want to make it super juicy, give them all the juicy details. Again, make sure that you put the link, the active link at the top and also at the bottom of uh, whatever text you put in here to make it super easy and accessible to them. And there you have it. So super easy to do. And you can do that today, right now. And let me just go ahead and show you a little bit more about Wellness Stock Shop, my favorite things, images to use. Again, it's really easy to just head to the Quick Backgrounds Gallery and just grab any photo. Uh, but there are so many different photos in here for natural wellness. And this is not just for food and nutrition or just essential oils. You find really holistic wellness imagery in here. So you will definitely find something that will suit your business. You can even go into the flora gallery and find tons of beautiful succulents and beautiful bouquets and flowers. If you're, um, if you're maybe for instance, um, into, more of uh, mind health or emotions. These work really well. Here's a beautiful one. I love this orchid for the Facebook cover, but I'd highly recommend getting choosing an image where you've got um, something or the subject off to the side, um, or you can actually put two images together, one on the left and then one on the right, and then put the white space in the center to kind of separate it, just like what I've done um, in those images that I showed you that I have pre-designed. So this is one of the images, for instance, that I've pre-designed that's included in um, one of the branding kits. So I've taken an image on this side and an image on this side, and then I used the square and I made it more into a diamond shape so that you can just easily plug in your button and your information here. So I hope this was super helpful for you. And please, if it was helpful, if you could just like this and put a comment below and let me know what was the most helpful part about it for you. And um, I would love to see you over at Wellness Stock Shop. So you can always visit me over at wellnessstockshop.com. So thanks for tuning in.